Beyonce. Cowboy Carter is a number one album on the Billboard 200. So Beyonce, number one, Cowboy Carter, 407,300.41 000, million on-demand streams and 168,000 pure copies sold. That was dope. Like, you know, shout out to Beyonce. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that they didn't, that some people didn't like the album. I Now I'm going to keep it real with you and just be organic. I did play the album last week, but I don't know. I wasn't really playing it that much this week. But it's not bad, though. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you? So listen. So, um, yeah. So I didn't play it that much this week, but it is songs that I like, like Spaghetti. I do like um, Tyrant. I do like Two Hands to Heaven. That's one of my favorite ones off the album. Of course, 16 Carriages. Don't really play um, Texas Hold'em. You know, after maybe a week or two, I kind of got over that one. I like the kind of the, the vibe of it, the groovy vibe of it. But yeah, that's it. Um, what else do I like? I like, uh, what's the other song she got on there? The, the Bodyguard. That's cool. I do like the song with Miley Cyrus, but I played it the most the first week it came out. I didn't really play it like... Um, I didn't really play it like throughout the week. Like once the weekend and the song came out and I kind of felt it for the moment, then I kind of moved on to other things. That's how I am with music though. Like, you know, um, but shout out to the people who supported her album. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about, so let's get into this, right? So let's go right over here. Let me see how this look on the screen. If I want to bring this in that way, let me see if I need to bring this in closer. So. You see this chart, right? So Future and um, Kendrick Lamar, he's still at number one. So they're going to spend, spend their second week at number one. Beyonce, Texas Hold'em, because you know the album came out. So that increases the single sales and all of that. So that boosted her up to number two. So yeah, so she got a few songs. Two Most Money, with, one it with Miley Cyrus. The song with Jolene um, that she did the cover of, that's number seven. That's what's up. Like, you know? Levi jeans with Post Malone that's up there too. And I want to show you something before you know I do the build up and to get into what I'm trying to say. I just want you to want to show you some. So you see other people are rising on the charts, right? So for an example, we're not gonna count Beyonce, Ariana, little Ariana Grande. We can't be friends. You know uh, that rose one spot. Kanye West Carnival rose one spot. Mm, let's see, SZA she rose up six spots. Agora Hills rose up four spots. So people are rising on the charts. Get it sexy. So she rose seven spots. Do you see that? She rose seven spots. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, paint the picture for you so that you understand when I get to Cardi B. What's next? Hold on. Bodyguard debuted at number 26. Blackbird. I didn't really care for that. A lot of people like that. Petty, 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 thanks, spaghetti. Yo, when I tell you, I'm gonna wait till I get to that. But let me just say this to you, right? No, let's 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 do it while we on spaghetti right now, right? Yo, I don't care if Beyonce is not no rapper. What I'm trying to say is, is that Beyonce ate up Cardi B on spaghetti. She ate her up. And then it's a certain line in there that I love so much. And I just wish that, and I know that people said that they hate when I do this, but I wish that, and, I, and it's like that, you know, artists are, are them, they're themselves, right? And you can't force to another person to be like that or whatever. But I just wish that it's a certain, it's, it's one line that, that Beyonce said in spaghetti. And I just wish that now going through the past, you can't take it back. But I wish that Nikki would have applied that to Cardi too. But what I'm telling you, the lyrics on this spaghetti, I've never heard Cardi deliver a verse that was just, um, I never heard her deliver a verse that was just so, like the way that that shit posted, like, I don't know. I like this. So let me bring this up real quick. When she was like, I ain't in no gang, but I got killer. Yo, she said, at the snap of my, let's don those. Snap, snap, snap. And I'm still on your head like corn rolls. Bray, bray, bray. They call me the captain. The captain was sat in there, slipping up the slap in the door. Yo, when she got to that part, just, a, just an expedition, I'm a mission, I'm a mission. Country, country, petty, petty, petty. All the same gene planks with that. No sauce, no sauce. Uh, what did she say? Um, uh, 
whatever she said though, you heard this song if you heard it. The flow, I've never heard Cardi B so cohesive and it's crazy that an R&B singer is, is hitting you like that. I wanna, I just wanna show this to you though, right? This is what spoke out to me. I'm appalled by the proposition. Y'all been played by the plagiaristic. Ain't gonna get no cloud addiction. My, she, listen, let me get this off the damn screen. Oh, you can't get that off the screen. This is what she said. She said, y'all been played by the plagiaristics. Ain't going to give no cloud addiction my attention. Who was a cloud addiction? Ain't going to give no cloud addiction my attention. I think that in her world, it's Azalea Banks who will be trying to get her attention and like different people like try to get her attention. Ain't going to give no cloud addiction my attention. You know when somebody want clout, they either saying something about you because they want you to respond or they want you to get mixed up and going back and forth or whatever, right? I like that. I ain't no regular saying, girls, or come get whatever you gave from. I ain't in no gang, but I got two dollars and they bang, bang. I like spaghetti. Petty, 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 petty. No sauce, no sauce. Oh, too cold, too cold. They salty, they shooting, they curry, going fun. They host the pass it the hover. Throw the whisk sweet and I was walking in the back of in the kitchen. That's the dishes. That's the dishes. Yeah, I've been played by the play position. I ain't going to get no cloud addiction, my attention. I ain't no regular saying, girl, and I come in with everything game for. I ain't in no gang, but I got shooters and they bang, bang. I like it. I don't care what y'all saying. I like spaghetti. I do. And I felt like that part was just so potent in the lyrics where she said, y'all been played by the plagiaristic. Ain't gonna get no cloud addiction. My attention. Ain't gonna get no cloud addiction. My attention. I ain't no regular saying, girl, and I come in with whatever you day, bro. I ain't in no gang, but I got shooters and a bang, bang. She ate that. I don't care what y'all say at all. So anyway, let's resume back to the charge. I just had to clean out spaghetti. Petty, 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 spaghetti. She ate that up. So um, let's see. I still don't see Cardi. Did she rise on the charts? I see Yaya. Goja paint the town red. She's number 50. Petty, petty, plain spaghetti. Um, let's see. River dance, we see alligator tears, which I didn't like. These damn headphones just getting to my head. Um, hold on. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> um, <laughs> enough. So we see enough. She dropped 16 spots, 16 carriages driving away as you fall off the charts in the early days. She seen mama crying, she seen daddy lying, all the tears behind it after reeling her. Listen, I want to say this this ain't even being funny, this is fact. This is showing the demand, right? Now, I want to do this while I got Cardi B right there. And also, we got to get into Punta Ria down in the Santa Domingo with the flamingos. Yeah, we got to do that, too. In my early night, I saw daddy. I seen Cardi crying. I seen charts declining. I my be behind it. I my tears behind. On the back of the bus with the bunk with the bed. Over us and overwhelmed. I might good leave So she getting her little radio play, but it's still not working like enough. So she went up 400,000 on radio. Where Punta Riri? Damn, they gave up on Punta Riri already? They giving it 50,000 on radio after y'all was getting millions of plays per day on radio? It might be over for Punta Riri. It might be over for, for Puntanio. <laughs> it might be over from Puntanio. Pantelon is over. It's over, mommy. You see that? Not even charting across the charts, mama. Cardi, you okay, mama? Tyler, Truth or Dare. Who else is coming up the charts right now? Sexy Red, she getting, okay. Get it sexy. 
Get his ass in. Well, you know that ass is bad. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Boy, you know that ass uber bad. Dum, 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 dum. Where's Glow really at? Little Miss Sassy walking down the street. <laughs> that shit crazy. So let's see where Glow real real at. Okay, yeah, Glow. Okay, so Glow Rilla, she hit. Glorilla doing better than Punta Didi? Let's see if Glorilla has another one. They ain't playing the song with Megan Thee Stallion on radio yet? Oh, that definitely ain't going to debut. That might be bubbling under. Damn. Let's see where Nicki Minaj is. I tell them I'm, I'm the queen. I tell them, I'm, okay, prove it. Spotify ain't got a lie. They really streaming my music. I give misses the crown. They F around and losing that. I end up wait. I only wait with not telling them. Bye. So Nikki is still number 22 on the overall radio charts with um, Uzi, everybody. Where is F the Club? Uh, we need that remix next week, Nikki. She's number 58. She had a 70,000 increase. We need to ring, but you got to, one thing I'm going to show you when we get to Nikki on the other charts. Okay. Flo Millie, Never Lose Me. I mean, the the remix, you see that it is, they're not advertising the remix because that remix did so bad that they was like, what was the point of doing it? Where's Flo Millie on the charts though? I should have peeped where she was at. Cardi B don't had enough. That girl in my had enough. She, they pumping in the payola and, it, and it's not enough. She like enough if enough. She they don't get a gal payola. They don't push, promote it, propaganda, populate it, pander, polar. No, I can't say she polarized. Mm, Shakira, I know she mad. They thought that this was gonna be Tusa. They thought they were gonna get Plusa, and it just didn't. And the results are just not responsive. So listen. If Beyonce don't push the girl out the charts for um um if the girl don't got pushed out wait 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 if she got pushed off the charts from Beyonce I, and listen I said this last week in my video I said that Beyonce was gonna push her off the charts this week I need to figure out so Cardi B dropped sixteen spaces this is why I tried to tell you where it was like comparison to the other people who rose that is a true testament because why didn't the other people drop where Flo Millie at? We got to, okay, Flo Millie. She stayed the same. All right, Flo Millie. You know, Cardi B or SZA is not on there. That means that the results were not responsive and they didn't want it like that. That just is what it is. Let's just call a spade a spade. Look at Lil 21 Savage. He, he even rose. All right, let's see. Let's go back up because I just want to just point out Sexy Red to you. Boy, you know that what? Super fat. She drove seven spots. And I want to tell you this, right? As a woman of color, she deserves that. She does, right? As a woman of color, she does, she does, especially I feel like whatever her talent is, what, what regardless if she's not as lyrical or whatever, she deserves it. And what I'm trying to say is, is that Cardi has a bigger budgeting and, and bigger team behind her. She literally sent out requests for creators on TikTok to make videos and do it on this part. Do it on that part. Do it on this part. Say this. Make your hand like this. It's like, what is this? A damn sweatshop? Like, what? Why you ain't just letting them organically respond to the music the way that they supposed to? Do this. Do that. Do like, do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. See, propaganda and all of that. And I'm telling you. Cardi knows like something is not, she knows two and two not making four. She knows, she knows. So you got, you got even songs from Metro Boomin who ain't even fall below Cardi. They're going to have to start. You're going to have to make them, Cardi, make the radio team. They need to put millions of play like that. They did, you know, the other songs, they're going to have to do it. Little Doja, after how many weeks she been on the charts? 28 weeks. It don't look like they want it. 
And we're going to talk about Nicki Minaj too. So let's see. So Puntaria, Puntariri, debuted last week at number, was it 72? In 72. So let's let's talk about Nicki first. So where's where is Nicki at? Because we don't see Puntaria within 72 to 75. So it's it's not there. So we're gonna go from the rest to 100, right? So I just want to shout this out to Nikki. No music videos, no nothing at all. Everybody, let's see. You see how many weeks have been on the charts? 17 weeks. This song has been on the charts since her album came out. She had, and you know, I kind of felt like it was unfair, um, but you can't say it's unfair, but it's like people ran with two different things and you have to realize the formatting of an F the Club Up and then the formatting of an everybody. Everybody is a smash hit on all, all platforms. Pla pop radio, urban radio, rhythmic radio. F the Club Up is more just um, urban and rhythmic, right? So that's a smash that can go on every radio. So you have to realize 17 weeks, there's four weeks in a month. There's four weeks in a month. So that means that that's, the song has been on the radio for three months already. So it's like Nikki has been able to, she's on tour, she's doing her thing. And it's like, what? If you look at that, look at that 17 that's right there. And when we get to the next one and I'll show you at the club up where that's at. It's like they've been on the charts for the same amount of weeks. But I'm looking for Punta Riri. That's what I'm, I'm looking for. Am I wrong? Is Punta Riri on its charts and I just didn't see it? I'm looking for Punta Riri. Maybe I'm wrong and Punta Riri is still there. Camila Cabello, she's one of the biggest. Uh, I think that she has a. Is Camila Cabello the one who's associated with Normani? So you see this with F the Club Up, right? No video or nothing. Mind you, no video. 17 weeks. Nikki had two singles on the radio for 17 weeks for three months. That's major. And that's going into now. She, that's going into the next month. I hope that she drops the, the remix and that will also help it sustain or whatever the case may be. You got Cardi out here trying to do enough and it's still dropping 16. Last week it dropped 31, then 16. And it's like, when Drake gonna drop an album? And she on her like, ooh, child, cool down. Stop it. Where Punta Riri? Puntanio, I don't see you. Puntanio? Punta Riri? Mm. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. I mean, that's why, like, yo. When I was on Twitter and I was like, everybody's talking about the music videos, whatever the case may be, and all of this and all of that. Nikki said the budget is the is the, the sold out tour and the stage and everything that goes into that. She don't need the thing. See, this is where you get the this is where you get the formula messed up, thinking that you live in a Nicki Minaj world as a person that's like a Cardi B. She's like, oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do this. No, you can't. You can't. They've made you think that you can do it. They've made you comfortable. They've made you, they've they've made you think that. They've made you think that you can do the same thing as a Beyonce or, or, or a Nikki. You can't do it. These people are built up. They have organic fans. Like, they just do. It's, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. A difference. How Shakira dropped that song with her, I'm telling you. You know what? I will have a little humanistic side. If I was Cardi, that would make me feel bad if Punta Ria and the Santa Domingo was off the charts this week. It would make me feel bad like I fell Shakira. I'm not this bad BITC that I'm trying to make it seem like. You know, I get streams. I go up. I get pushed. I get promoted. And I let the Colombiana singer down. Poor Punta Riri. Poor. Mm. They got Future and Metro Boom and just, they dropped 56 spots and still number 94 on the charts. And she tried to talk about empanada and all of this and empanada and how she, she was just trying to, Cardi, you trying to be cute like Nicki on the tracks and it's just not working, baby. It ain't working. Tusa was just different. We wanted to hear Nikki talk about kicking and screaming the big toddler. You trying to get your friends to come holla, holla. 
We don't want this. She tried to have this cutesy little voice. What happened to what she was saying in that song? Bitch can never be me alive. Where is the song at? Why they not streaming it? Why is Flo Millie getting credit on her own? So listen, even if F the Club Up was like, I don't think it was a big release next week. I don't think it was a big release. So F the Club Up may still be on the charts next week. It dropped four spots or whatever. Who dropped? Well, J. Cole dropped. So how many songs do J. Cole got on his album? Never be me and never be me and oh, it's 504. I gotta get ready for the gym. So, yes, listen, I'm happy that I, I I really wanted to get off here a little earlier, but I knew that Tiffany Henyard um, thing was going to bring me up to the moment. J. Cole. Let's see how many songs he got in his album. One, two, three, four. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, he got 12 songs. So that might. So he got 12 songs, depending on how how is his streams doing? I guess I got to look into that too, but um, even if, even, but you know, Nikki said the remix is coming. So maybe that'll, you know, that will obviously push more life into it. I'm not mad at it at all. 17 weeks. Like, you know, um, Cardi's been on a song for, two, she's been on the, on the charts for two to three weeks. It's like, where is the power? Where is the star power? Like, where's the streams at? And from the people, you know, you're trying to post Instagram stories all week and it's not enough. When they said enough is enough. It's not enough. I knew that it was going to happen this week. I said Beyonce is going to push a little Punta Didi right off the charts. And, it, you know, the results were responsive. Oh, and then with Taylor Swift, when Taylor Swift coming out? How many songs Taylor Swift got on her new album? Let me go to iTunes and see what's going on with that. She dropped 16 spots. Um, Taylor Swift. Is it the torture, the one that's coming out? Okay, pre-order. Well, she got 17 songs. You know that they all gonna debut. Punta Didi, even if you come back, Punta Didi, it's gonna look crazy. Like, and then you already see they doing the bare minimum. I guarantee you, Shakira's team is mad at this. They are mad. They are mad at that. They was, and I could tell you the first week, you know you was watching that if you were a chart type person. That song ain't charting across nowhere. Is all this is empty, E M P T E A empty. It's empty. Wow. Enough is number forty nine on. Is I think the first chart is iTunes. Let's go to the top and see what that is. iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Shazam. So let's go back down. What a day, what a day. All they doing is trying to get that power 105. Damn, what's this right here? What field was this again? Spotify, are you right? I think it's, oh my God. Spotify ain't got a lot. They really streaming my music. When in the day where Cardi B released a song and it's only two weeks old and it's not on Spotify? That is weird. Wait a minute. Nikki's song is 17 weeks. Let's see where everybody is at. Okay. So that's cool. That's 17 weeks. I'm not concerned about that. I give misses the crown. They F around and lose it now. I am the wave. I only wave when I'm telling them I. Ooh. 17 weeks though. We can't be now. If this was Nikki at week three, I would be concerned because people can Shazam a song. We 17 weeks in. Next week will be 18. 17 weeks in. Ooh, it's looking real like that Spotify and got a lot was a low-key hit, like I said it was. I said Nikki ain't this cardi on um Pink Friday too, but she she talked some business shit to her ass on the back end. She definitely did. Ooh, I give Mrs. The Crown a F around and lose it now. I am the wave, I only wave when I'm telling them bye. Ooh, that's looking real Spotify ain't got a lot. They really streaming my music. That's empty in the middle. 
Spotify ain't got a lot because I'm telling you, and I'm about to get up off of here. When you release music, um, you know, like even if you're trying to be serious or if you like an independent artist and you release music, they have all of these playlists that they dump music on. And I remember it was these certain playlists that you had to pay that like if you wanted to get on it, um, you had to pay a lot of money. But these playlists literally mess up your stats. You go to a person page like imagine if you go to my Spotify page and you look up my Spotify, and you say, how do you have all of these listeners in just countries that don't make no sense? Right. So I started to look in to see who was on these playlists. I think Russ had um, talked about this too, about people like getting on like fake playlists and stuff like that. I don't know the extent of his conversation, but what I'm telling you was that was a big thing. And if you can imagine Spotify having to pay out royalties for fake streams, they crack down on it. So that's why I always tell you that the, the tricks of yesteryear are not going to work anymore. I just want to tell you that is nasty work. Where's the truth at then? And you have playlisted on that song, Miami. Why is it empty for the Spotify field? And you know, if you Google, not Google, if you go on Twitter, like anything that you ever think about, like, like for example, today I just put in Punteria Spotify or Punteria, whatever the case may be, and you actively see people talking about it. And people are saying, out, 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 enough, out, out, a Spotify, out, out, out. We are on, when did enough come out? What was the release date for that track? Let me go to Spotify. Let me go to iTunes and type that in because you know they'll tell you. Cardi B. That's poor. It ain't even one of her most um played songs. Let me put Cardi B enough. And it'll be somebody watching this video like you're being obsessed. No, this is music. Let's talk about it. It is. It is that's just. Is, this is only what it is. Enough came out March fifteenth. So it's like three weeks. Dang, then I want that. Not Spotify. Now I want that. They don't want that. But they steadily pumping four hundred thousand audience radio into it. I feel like your radio play should be indicative. I mean, she's not at zero on the other ones. She's number 42 on Shazam. She's number 49 on iTunes and number 65 on Apple Music. That's why it's not streaming like that. Let me see where Sexy Red is. Boy, you know that thing super fat. Ain't like the... She across the board. That's get it sexy. Get it sexy. 70. 39, 4, 16. That's why she ain't falling like that. The proof is in the pudding. You So you mean tell me that Red is getting these numbers and Cardi is not? And I'm going to keep it real with you. Even with Drake posting her, Cardi's number, it's so hard for me to say this. Cardi's numbers should look better than Sexy Red. They should. They should. Based off of who she what she's associated with and how they push her, they should look better. They should look better, but they don't. And then this is a true, yeah. What's a day when the tables are turned out this month? Yeah. And let's look at Glorilla. Hold on. Glorilla ain't on iTunes, but at least she's on Spotify, Apple Music, and, and Shazam. That's crazy. She number 112 on Spotify. Cardi ain't even nowhere on Spotify. I told y'all, y'all probably thought that I was just yapping and I'm just using it for conversation filler. I'm telling you, when Nikki says Spotify ain't got a lie, they really streaming my music. I want you, when you think about that, I want you to think of the shade of all. Like, bitch, we done spoke to the business heads. Like, yeah, the games of yesteryear cannot go on anymore. You can't lie anymore because now fines are going to be associated. You know what's going to happen with a fine? It's going to be public. And then what's going to happen with the public information? You're going to figure out that people are cheating and then it's going to look fake. And then everything that we've been talking about for the past few years is going to be validated. It's going to be validated when we knew that it was fake. Yo, when I used to be like, who is streaming this song like that? I know that you probably had them questions like, who is streaming this song like that? They were streaming out in Saudi Arabia. Let's see where Shakira is. Is they even streaming that on Spotify? Nah, I'm not lying. Oh, yeah, they don't want that. Nah, I want that. Ooh. Anyway, it's time. I got to get off there because I got like 25, 30 minutes before I leave. So, oh, shoot. 
My bad. So listen, this is your boy, Laurent Potent Pondering.